Happy New Year, everybody. Welcome to 2014 for the 2014 Year Review Podcast on the S2K. This is Ron Moore, along with the J-Man and the Purple. Happy New Year! Yeah! And I wish we got Gen 2 and Star Soldier would have been here, because they were a big part of 2013. Uh, so, uh, But they couldn't make it. They had their own plans or whatever. And so it's just going to be me, J-Man, and Purple holding it down. And uh, did I say 2014 year review? <laughs> no, this is 2014 now. Yeah, yeah. This, this. Uh, yeah. If we could jump ahead, let's go ahead and review 2014 as well. Um, hopefully, I predict it's going to be ECW. <laughs> well, uh, I, I want to say real quick, um, we guy couldn't make it because he's uh, he's way too popular now, and he has real things going on. So. Yeah, he doesn't pay attention to the little guys anymore. Right. Let's let's give and a big round of applause for We Guy. Right. And we're not going to be in the mixtape. I'm just kidding. Um, yeah. And uh, let's give a big <laughs> let's give a big round of applause for Gentu that well hasn't showed up in forever. <laughs> Medic. <laughs> and um, I don't know. I I, I don't have anything to start uh, to say about Star Soldier, but. Uh, I mean, uh, Ted DiBiase Jr. Yeah. Uh, yeah, really. <laughs> yeah, we still got a match we got to do because he uh, accepted my challenge, making fun of my website. Uh, that's all right. Um, all right, so, yeah, 2013, as far as S2K goes, not bad. Much more productive year than 2012 was. Um, and so as far as my personal year, eh, it's kind of an up, up and down rough year, but it ended, it ended pretty strong. So hopefully I keep this momentum going into 2014 in my personal and YouTube life. Um, and as many of you know, I was uh, I uploaded a video, I think, like, what was it, a few weeks ago or a month ago now, about where should I go? Should I just leave YouTube altogether and go to daily, I'm about to say daily blip, daily motion, mm-hmm. or do both? And I pretty much decided I'm going to do both. Just uh, my reviews and video game videos will be on Daily Motion first, or on my website first through Daily Motion, then on YouTube a week later, and now except for podcasts like this or blogs or update videos, those are going to straight to YouTube. I don't need to put those on Daily Motion, but yeah. And for those of you, uh, well, everybody knows about the content ID claims that's been going on lately. We were going to do a podcast on that. Unfortunately, none of us were able to make it around the same time to get that done. Um, so that topic's kind of not hot anymore, I guess. So that, that podcast has been pretty much scrapped. But I guess we can talk about a little bit, since it does pertain to 2013 on YouTube. Um, and it, don't, it don't affect me that much because I don't make a living off YouTube with revenue. So, and I haven't gotten any claims since uh, this madness broke out. So I think it's mainly aimed toward new game reviews and the soundtracks that's in them. And my friend Philip was over here earlier, and he told me, the content ID claims was just the first phase of the changes going on on YouTube. Now, supposedly, you got to wait a few days for your video to go public after you upload it because they're reviewing all videos probably manually to make sure they don't violate any copyright laws. I don't believe that. Me either. And that better not be true because if so, more I guarantee you, more, more and more people really are going to leave YouTube for good. you got to wait days for your video to go public because it's being reviewed that is ridiculous now hopefully that's just a rumor and that's not really true um, regardless if that is true that's all the more reason for me to upload my videos on daily motion first and just upload my YouTube to have them queued and ready to up to go public a week later why well, I, uh, I can shut that down real quick because there was a lot of people uploading uh, me included um, uh, I, I guess I'll just use my own personal example. I tried to upload a little clip of uh, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Woo-hoo. And, yeah, it was just like a, a little four-minute clip of the uh, Nightman, Dayman thing. I actually I edited the clip from an episode, edited just, you know, two parts of, of it, you know, together in a four-minute clip, and it wouldn't even go private. Right away, uh, content ID. Now, that was back in 2011. 
So hearing some rumor about it takes three days, nah. Yeah, if they I'll have they have that that algorithm. Whoa, I said it right. Cool, mm-hmm. and I'm intoxicated. Um, but but having that back in 2011, they could uh, instantly detect and and deactivate. Yeah, there's no way they're doing it manually now. I'm not like that. Right, no. shut down. Yeah, because that would be stupid. It'd be pretty much impossible. As big as YouTube is, and all the videos being uploaded every minute. Right, right. that's way too many. <laughs> And that's ridiculous. Come on. Unless you're working people overtime and Google becomes a sweatshop or something, you're not going to have a staff member sitting there all day reviewing every single freaking video. Right. I mean, there's no way. I mean. Come on. This isn't happening. Yeah. So hopefully that is just – that was also a rumor that Rich touched upon, and hopefully it is just a rumor. Um, And I've gotten a a lot of feedback on my video uh, about uh, should I leave YouTube or not. Most people are saying just do both or go everywhere at the same time. And or slowly phase out of YouTube because you're probably gonna get closed out pretty soon. Everybody's probably gonna get to get their channels deleted or whatever for some stupid reason. Um, so as far as I'm concerned, I think I'm safe because I don't do any new games. The old games aren't really targeted, uh, even though my Contra video got third party because Konami likes to third party everything, I guess, or Sony or whoever. I don't know, but I think my channels have anything to worry about, but. I do would like to make some sort of revenue through ads and daily re- revenue, daily revenue, daily motion revenue on uh, through daily motion and onto my website. And then a week later, you know, still cater to my YouTube fans as well who don't feel like watching my videos on my site. I can still upload it and then they can watch it on YouTube and then well, everybody's happy. So that's what I'm going to do. And I didn't want to really leave YouTube anyway. I mean, as much crap as we've gone through. You know, he was been my home for six years for videos and stuff, and I've met some great people like you and Purple and Wee Guy, Star Soldier, Gentoo, Minecraft Martin, and other people I haven't talked to in a long time. And, you know, I would hate to leave YouTube and, you know, because I still have fun on the site. So uh, I just said, you know, I'm not going to let Google run me off. You know, just keep doing it as long as I can unless <laughs> something happens to where they just completely phase everybody out and, and it becomes like MSN. Just, no one cares about it no more. But I doubt YouTube will get that low. But 2013, I, like I said, every year, I remember I think it was 2009, 2010 podcast. I said every year Google is probably going to get make YouTube even worse. Yeah, well, they, I mean, has. they they would want to shut down the uh, the the lower the lower channels. What was that? They won't. No, they want to shut down the lower channels. Oh yeah, you know the, the 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 people that don't get the the high views. That's pretty much what Blip did. I mean, it's you know it's the internet in a, in a way, and YouTube's the best example right now is becoming like network television, to where if you know like channels are like shows, and if your show isn't it, you're off. It's it's yeah. you know it it hasn't gotten to that point yet, but there and and I'm not saying that it ever will get to that point, but it may get to that point where uh, if you're not cutting it, well, you're cut. Yeah. And I noticed, um, and I said this before, you know, some of YouTube. What's missing under the YouTube logo? Broadcast yourself. They you're removed right, that. You're right. You're like right. two years ago. And that was in the middle of all these ridiculous changes going on. And Blunty3000 or whatever his name is, I forgot, 2009 did a video where they're phasing the U out of YouTube. Or, or no, he actually was responding to that, trying to defend all these changes, saying, no, it's going to be all for the better for everybody. But someone else, I forgot who it was, uh, Master Hand referred me to the video. <laughs> I was called Real Weekly News or whatever. He was saying they're slowly phasing this out. And then plus right. broadcast yourself was – changed it was deleted off of there and like whoa yeah. wait a minute what well, they are kind of phasing this out blip did that pretty much yes but blip is totally different i mean blip is not nearly as popular as youtube and youtube is a more a lot more of an open uh video platform that's you call it than blip is blip is mainly really directed toward a series of shows and webisodes actually right exactly shows and hopefully youtube don't become that i mean as bad as YouTube is now, you know, it's still enjoyable 
and hopefully, you know, they won't do it to where they're just deleting uh, everybody that sucks or doesn't get a million views a week or whatever. And I mean, so, it, so hopefully they don't get to that point. But we'll see what 2014 holds for YouTube. Uh, I don't really want to think about it because I don't know if you can, can it get any worse. Well, I guess we'll find out. Um, hopefully... This 2K, though, will still be pretty ECW because I do have a lot of great LPs and ideas. Hopefully some old familiar faces coming back to uh, the SC 2 k and on more on more channel. Uh, 2013, like I said, been a, not, a, not a bad year for the SC 2 k uh, We did get several projects uh, going for a while. And um, I know we mentioned some of this already. In, uh, what was the last podcast we did where our favorite LPs we've done. But... Uh, Let's go ahead and mention some of those again real quick. I guess do a quick rundown. and of uh, Starting with January 2013, we finished uh, We Guys LP of Codename Viper. And that game, yeah, it's okay. Uh, I wouldn't say it's underrated. I don't think it's like a great game either, but uh, not a bad game. Uh, it is made by Capcom. And so uh, We Guys did that LP, and he finished it. Yeah, he, I think he finished it like uh, on January of this year. And uh, what do you think about that game, J-Man? Um, I think the the name should have been changed to uh, Plumbers Don't Wear Pants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. That guy looked like he had no pants on as you fight Hitler in the game. <laughs> um, That's so, yeah, the thing wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and then on January 5th, we did the 2012 year in review as a 2K show, which is over like an hour and 19 minutes long. Um, and then throughout January, I, fit, I kept on doing the A Link to the Past LP. And then we got started his Wolverine LP yes. for the NES. What do you think about Wolverine, J-Man? That game sucks. <laughs> I don't think Star Soldier liked it either, did he? I don't know. Uh, I was still living in that damn hotel room, and my audio was even way worse than it is now, and <laughs> couldn't hear any, what anybody else was saying. They couldn't hear what I was saying. So, yeah, the game speaks for itself. Yeah, you can hear that out loud. <laughs> yeah, you could have the worst speakers in the world. <laughs> Yeah, and I tell you what, audio, which uh, LP had even worse audio, or as far as video game audio. Let's play Jackie Chan's Action Kung Fu. Started February second, and we got was we kind of got an argument over that on Skype a little bit, like uh, through uh, texting on Skype. I go, uh, we can't. I do what happened to the audio, the video game audio. It has some decent music. Well, I had to uh, adjust it because we can't hear J Man that good. I had to, and I go, you had to mute the whole thing? Yeah, yeah. And I go, oh, but that's freaking lame. And he's like, yeah, well, that's your problem, not mine. Yeah. And I'm like, well, no, it's your problem because you're the one that screwed it up. <laughs> it just <laughs> pissed me off how he, how he said, well, that's your problem. I hey, when people do that, I'm like, well, uh, yeah, thanks to you, it's my problem. You had to make it suck. <laughs> and Thank and surprisingly, surprised that we got did that because he loves music so much. He could have found a way to play music, not mute the whole freaking audio, just to hear just to hear you. Which I'm sure he could have worked his way around I, I, it. But I think maybe he should should have just been like, "Sorry, J Man, but like we're gonna redo the that part again until you you know like like maybe we'll wait until you get better better shit." <laughs> yeah. Or we'll just you know I'm just gonna record it with other people. Or just yeah. straight up hit me up and said, your shit sucks. <laughs> <laughs> and not blame it yeah. on you. You had nothing to do with it. But, yeah, anyway. Right. Yeah. I know. He's like, well, that's your problem, not mine. I'm like, wow. Thanks for crapping all over me, we got. I mean, <laughs> so, yeah, that uh, that was frustrating. Like Jackie Chan has some good, you know, a good soundtrack in it. And, you oh, know, an cool. LP is kind of lame to do. It's, it's pretty lame to watch when you can't hear the video game music. Unless it's a video game soundtrack that sucks, and then of course it's different. But 
you know, Jackie Chan had a good one. Why, why couldn't Gen 2 mute Shao Gate 64? But anyway. <laughs> um, oh, uh, uh, next, February of this year, we started the awesome LP of Streets of Rage Remake. Oh, yes. Very fun LP to do. Awesome freaking game. Uh, yeah, so I definitely love doing that LP on the S2K channel. Um, and... I love the part that let's discuss was hilarious because uh, for several reasons. One of them, I made reference to, uh, uh, was it Max? At the very end, it showed the ending, and it showed Max, Skate, and Adam standing there. And I said, uh, referring to Max, I go, there's Gentoo on steroids. And then We God does his trademark laugh. <laughs> Just laughs for a long time, and, and Gentoo's like, seems legit. <laughs> and then uh, that was also where Star Soldier did his pre-recorded Let's Discuss um, and there was a blooper in there in the very end if y'all remember where uh, he misunderstood me I was telling him to do uh, this is the last part um, of the Let's Play just do your pre-recorded Let's Discuss like you did with Simon's Quest in the past he goes okay I go alright ready go and he goes oh yeah baby we're at the final level here <laughs> and no. I go no 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 don't pretend like you're doing commentary that you can't see we're doing a, a less uh your uh let's discuss at the very oh sorry <laughs> so that was pretty funny maybe he was at the final level <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> yeah and March third we got did let's play Pictionary oh wait a minute uh um, speaking of uh, Street of Rage remake, uh, back in what was that? Uh, oh man, that might have been 2012. Never mind. Okay. Uh, well, I, I remember uh, coming down to Waco, uh, me and Purple. Yeah, that was 2012. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Um, let's we'll edit picture. that out. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll do it live. No, you, Roddy, will do it live. Uh, I can't do it. I can't do it. Fucking thing sucks. Okay. <laughs> well, here's what sucks. Pictionary. Well, no, not really, but... Oh, that's uh, 2009. You did that in 2009. <laughs> no, that's anticipation. <laughs> I know. I'm that's just trying to cover my own ass. <laughs> <laughs> but we got did Let's Play Pictionary, which I thought was going to be a boring LP, but hey, uh, it's S2K, so... We can probably add any humor to anything if we do Shoutgate 64. We can do anything. Um, so Pictionary, actually not that bad of a you know little board game, or whatever you the heck Pictionary is. I don't know what it is, but uh, it's kind of a fun LP. And we got did a quick uh, one part, 23 minute LP of it. And you just uh, you like the you like the views that we guy brings to the channel. Oh, well, he does bring views. I, I know, mean, he so does. Like, his part two, his part two of Mega Man Four already has like seventy something views, I think. Mm -hmm. I mean, come on, I don't know how he. Well, I guess like he does. He he has you know website, a Twitter, his right. Of yeah, he he embeds it. He embeds the YouTube video on yeah his website, which is I mean it's cool. Yeah, and so I mean you know uh, he can get a lot of views, and that's pretty you know that's pretty cool. So. Uh, even though him and Green may not be good with audio stuff, they're good at getting. Uh, uh, we guys good at getting reviews. Well, I was just we guy on that one that one video. Yeah, I know. I just had to bash him for that again. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> at least it wasn't Double Dragon Three. Anyway, right, uh, right. <laughs> sorry, Green, you're ECW, but yeah, not audio wise. Anyway, uh, the good thing Green don't play football. If he caught an audible, <laughs> you never mind. <laughs> You won't be able to hear it. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. The, here uh, we go. The, the, the Washington Wee Skins. I don't know. <laughs> Washington Wee Skins. Um, they didn't make the playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, uh, well, here's what made it to the S2K. Oh, that was a failed segue. Um, March 4th, 2013. Let's play Deja Vu. Again. <laughs> yeah, so I did a let's check out of it in 2009 or 10, and then I did a full LP of it uh, this year, and I was still living at the D house at the time, and honestly, that game's all right, but 
it's not as good as Shellgate in uh, Uninvited. Um, but you know, not bad. Uh, I think we guy liked it. Probably. He said he had more stuff to do in it than Uninvited. I kind of disagree on with that, but we'll get to Uninvited a little bit later on. Uh, Deja Vu. Um, you know, it's like, oh, cool, it's just like Shellgate. But honestly, eh, it was okay. Um, uh, you know, I didn't really enjoy it as much. But uh, what did you think about Deja Vu? Um, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> did you? <laughs> well, I heard what you did there. Um. Oh. <laughs> April fifth. Let's play Monster in My Pocket. Pretty cool game. Uh, not that bad. Uh, and, yeah, so it's a pretty cool, interesting game. It's, you know, plays, uh, it's, it reminds me of Chip and Dale in some ways, but much better. Uh, I mean, you know, playing these little monsters going around all the furniture or, or whatever. And, and, you know, it looks like a pretty interesting game. And, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't really a bad game. So that LP was kind of enjoyable. Um. Absolutely. And then, okay, and then May 6th, I finished up Deja Vu. Now, here we go. May 22nd. This is around the time I transitioned to my new apartment. Let's play Uninvited. <laughs> now, this might have been my favorite LP to do the entire year. This game was ECW. Better than Shellgate. And well, just lots of stuff to do in this game. Pretty creepy, too. I mean, the soundtrack is just epic. I mean, this really blows uh, Deja Vu out of the water. Uh, <laughs> this really blows <laughs> yeah. Deja Vu out of the water. <laughs> yeah. And Uninvited Part 2 was Uninhabited. And, yeah, I mean, yep. just... And, and we got Part 4 just went crazy, started laughing a lot. I think I got possessed by the Lulz Ghost in the mansion or something. And But Uninvited was a very, very fun LP to do. Star Soldier Gen 2 was in that as well. Um, that game is, that game is pretty epic. Great soundtrack. What'd you think of it? Oh, I know why it was so awesome. Cause I wasn't in it. I thought, would you at least one of them? I don't know. Uh, maybe I had a uh, case of deja vu. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. When, uh, uh, when's, uh, when's let's play amnesia going to come out? <laughs> I, think, I think that's coming up after. Oh, 2014. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, and let's see, we finished up Uninvited on the 4th of July, and then on the 6th of July, we started the Ninja Turtles series. Yes. We'll start with, of course, part one. Um, so that was fun. Uh, that game was definitely from my childhood. Um, I think I had to use Game Genie to beat that, because that freaking game is, is, so it's always been pretty hard to me. Um, especially the Technodrome. The rest of freaking cheap level. Um, and what else here? Um, and then, of course, it did Ninja Turtles 2 and 3. Oh, wait. Uh, you forgot to ask me what I thought about uh, the first one. I was thinking about the first one. Stupid banana coat wearing bitch. <laughs> ah, I screwed it up, but whatever. <laughs> Fail. Poem, poem, poem. But, uh, well, before we got to Ninja Turtles 2, we did the four-year anniversary podcast. And which, by the way, I, I realized I don't know why we call these shows podcasts. They're not really podcasts. We don't do them live. But anyway, eh, whatever. Well, I the, mean, you you could listen to them on an iPod. <laughs> oh, okay. Live it just seems like a podcast is something done live. They're live, like, and then recorded later on. But I mean, recorded live and then fail. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> We'll do it live. How about that? Uh-uh. And but yeah, the four year four year anniversary podcast. Yeah, we still been doing this four years now, and I mean yeah, it's just uh, more epic memories. And hopefully every year we can always look back and say, yep, you have a good year. Yep. <laughs> and it's kind of sad to say that the best years are behind us because we know what the best years were. That was two thousand nine, two thousand ten. But but however, they don't mean we can't have you know a good year. And so, uh, you know, the four-year anniversary podcast, we talked about uh, some more stuff we did on S2K, and that was on July 20th, 2013, the fourth year anniversary. Uh, and then after that, 
let's see, uh, or actually the next month, August 5th, we did Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game, <laughs> the <clears throat> quote-unquote arcade game. Yeah. Yes. Um, and then, uh, let's see. Then we got September 11th started, let's play Mega Man 4. Um, and well, okay. Uh, <laughs> um, well, didn't upload it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, really. That was I think, uploaded I think by September 11th. Uploaded the first one, like we had already finished it. <laughs> yeah, like I was still living in that house, I think. Yeah. When we first started, and then it didn't get uploaded until September 11th. <laughs> Ugh. And, I mean, but Grant, he, you know, you got to give him a little break. He is in college now. I mean, so, you know, he's been a little busy. Oh, so He's a big-time YouTuber now. Well, that may, I'll be part of it, too. But, I mean, yeah. you know, you got to come some slack, though. College does, you can't keep you busy. I mean, I've been there. And, yeah, it's. So, I mean, you know, he has a little break. We'll get come a little slack, and he's been a loyal supporter. He gets views. He still gets views. So, I mean, which is weird because part one has 54 views, but part two is like, let me see here. Because usually the first one gets more views than freaking anything. Yeah, part two has 74 views already, and it's been up since the day after Christmas. Huh. Well, anyway, so September 11th, he did Mega Man 4, part one. Um, and then I'm still working on Ninja Turtles 3, which, uh, finally got the footage done for that. Uh, I had trouble getting a second player to help me out with that, and that's why it took a long time in that. Part 6 was uploaded with Star Soldier on November 23rd. And so now, into the new year, I'll be able to finally finish, at least it's not as long as Ocarina of Time, mm -hmm. I get to finally finish Ninja Turtles 3 and move on to my next LP. And, um... Uh, and so that's where we're at right now. Oh, and also uh, re-uploaded the retro S2K shows that we've done in the past uh, because Blip was closing the S2K right. channel as well. In the older uh, podcast. Yeah. So it's good to re-upload those again. Um, uh, the Emulator podcast is good. The Video Game Piracy podcast was good. Uh, our favorite YouTubers podcast. Um... Which sucks um, because we actually lost a couple of podcasts, a couple of early podcasts, um, thanks to Blip. Um, yeah. Because I didn't realize in time I could have uh, saved them off of iTunes, which is the pain in the ass in itself. Um, yeah, but anyways. Yeah, and Blip, I had a trouble downloading the NES 25th anniversary podcast, so that's why that one is now forever gone. I could not re-upload that one. Right, and that was one them. that I had, uh, yeah, had seen. Yeah, and on that really pissed instead. me off, and I told them, oh, thanks a lot. You know, but I can't be too hard on me. At least they told me in advance they were going to close my channel and gave me a chance to to uh, download most of them, and they sent me a $9 check. So, <laughs> you know, at least, uh, I, you know, I, they never, in my mind, you, uh, Google still screwed me over more than Blip ever did uh, because of the AdSense thing. I was actually making, you know, not a living, but only like maybe I think um, two months, three months using AdSense, I think I generated like 4 or $5. That was more than what I would have generated with Blip, you know. And so, it, it, I don't know, just uh, – but Blip, you know, eh, oh well. At least I'm – technically – it's the principle of the thing. Hey, I made money doing what I always wanted to make money doing, so that was kind of cool. And oh, so you're, wait, are you saying uh, Google did better or worse? No, Google still did worse. Ah, you're going to get my Spar phone shut down. <laughs> 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 well, no, that, well, that, yeah, the NSA is spying on us. So, uh, But anyway, uh, and so, yeah, that's uh, all the video projects. Uh, We've done so far, so Mega Man 4 and Ninja Turtles 3 are still in progress. Mm. And uh, so, yeah, 2013, I don't think it's as productive, but 2013, not that bad of a year for SC2K. What do you think, J-Man? Well, uh, 2013 sucked. Nah, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> I actually think 2013 was better than 2012. Uh, just in the regards 
of well my my personal standings and yeah, yeah that's it uh, based on S2K yeah um, as far as my Rawmore channel not bad either I finished Ocarina Time thank God finally <laughs> um, I did a low budget I oh, know was it low budget let's check out of Lethal Weapon for the NES with Wii Guy. Boo. Low budget. Let's check out Die Hard with Wii Guy. Boo. And um, I just started Yoshi's Island LP, and I'm also working on Long Time No Play Sunset Riders, and I did a check out of, Let's check out 1999. I uh, still haven't seen that yet, but anyway, it's worth checking out. But uh, it's just weird. It's the way anyway. You explained it. I don't know. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's worth checking out, though. It's worth, like, looking at it and just laughing and, like, okay. Um, well, it's much better. It's not – it's much better game than, you know, the other games I've reviewed and stuff like Barbie and Action 52. I mean, come on. It's just – I don't think it's 1999 doesn't seem like a bad game. Well, number one, I don't know what I'm doing because I can't read Japanese. Number two, it's weird. But that don't necessarily mean it sucks. It, it does seem interesting. Maybe that – I think that's just normal Japan, though. The weirdness of the game, that's Japan for you, I guess, you know? Well, if I wanted so. to laugh, I'd, I'd watch one of Jeff's videos. <laughs> <laughs> what, laugh with him? Or, uh, uh, both. Laugh with him <laughs> and at him. <laughs> well, Jeff, we tip our chair, I mean, our hat off to you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, and you know what? Screw you guys, okay? That was three years ago. Uh, well, Jeff is someone I haven't talked to in a while. Um, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm glad. I don't want to leave you too because I have a lot of great experience on here. And, you know, Dan, and I know you and Jeff have had your differences, but it is to me. And I know I said some things to Jeff, and that one time I went off on him, I kind of feel bad about it. But, yeah. um, you know, well, you yeah, know I mean, Jeff you to me, though, you can't capture card it <laughs> to, uh, you know, huh. into whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, uh, Jeff's all right. I mean, you know, he brought more views than we got. Well, so did Jay Leno. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, and Steve Ballmer. Steve Ballmer's here with us. Steve, what do you got to say? Uh, you know, uh, guys, uh, let me tell you something. All right. <laughs> <laughs> J-Man's a little too intoxicated to do that tonight. Um, <laughs> and... Uh, no, yes. he's just, he's too intoxicated to want to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and actually, I forgot to mention some podcasts we've done. I don't know how I overlooked it on the list here. Uh, we did the uh, our favorite fighting games. Yes. Oh yeah. Uh, that was I a was really that, one. that was a really good one. Yeah, our favorite All fighting our and scoring. Yeah, uh, my friend uh, Dustin from work yeah. or yes. He, uh, he's with Game Nimbus on YouTube, and his Twitter handler is Creative Love, and he, um, yeah, he, and he was pretty awesome in, in the podcast, and uh, so yeah, uh, he's a pretty cool guy. And did we do another? Uh, the, oh yeah, the, our favorite LPs. Uh, other than that, and other, and other than the anniversary podcast and 2012 year review podcast, I don't know if we did anything else this year. I'm not sure, but that the, the fighting games that was a really good podcast. That yeah. was one of the best in in the STK history. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it really was really good. I also enjoyed our favorite LP one. Then that was the one where you and we guys were like, well, we're gonna talk about it again then in the year. Why should we talk about it now? And like, why didn't you guys tell me that in the first place? <laughs> Second, that'd be fun. Come on, let's do it. And we actually enjoyed doing that one as well. Um. A favorite LPs from the very beginning of all time on the channel, and a lot of great memories there. And Metroid is still my favorite. I still stand by that. Um, I agree. I agree. With part two, me and you, we uh, yeah, we nailed it. Yeah, and and yeah, I mean, just lots of great memories with LPs over the, over the years. I mean, I still go back and listen to a lot of random old videos. Now, I like to listen to some of that stuff before I go to sleep. Help me doze off. And oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, sometimes I, I, I show purple uh, some old ones, like uh, our very first one uh, with uh, with Jeff's mom doing laundry. Yeah. 
It was yeah. like uh, like I'm not trying to make fun of Jeff right there. I'm just like it was awesome. Like it was funny. It was cool. Yeah. It was just like this is a good way to start this because it's you know it it's about fun. It's not about trying to be professional or anything about that. It's just we're just doing this. Yeah. It's a good way to start, really. Yeah. And here's where I skipped. This is why I skipped it on, on the list here because it blends in with the old retro shows I uploaded and I, and I missed, overlooked it. Like we did the 2012 year in review, the four year anniversary, and then uh, later on in the year, beat em ups and fighting games, which is over an hour long, hour and a half long. Uh, and then uh, our favorite S2K LPs that we've ever done. And uh, yeah, so those podcasts are pretty fun. And of course, our podcast productivity is slow down over the years because, you know, I guess we start to run out of topics. Yeah. Um, and we couldn't do the content ID claim, but that's kind of like old news now, so I might as well forget it, I guess. Yeah. No, well, I, uh, I think we kind of covered it in, in this. Uh, I'm not sure, but kind of. Yeah, at least we covered it a little bit. I mean, I just want to get We Got Star Soldier's opinion, but I think they didn't really, or We Got wasn't going to have much to say about it. Okay. Uh Neither Gentoo, so it seemed like a cool thing to do at the time. The topic was hot, and eh, no one could be around to do it or really care to do it, so eh, oh well. Um, right, right. So yeah, I mean, uh, so 2014, um, I do know the next two um, LPs I'm going to do, but I'm not going to mention it. Um, and I mean, I might tell you guys in private, but I don't want to spoil it for everybody listening. I only like to tell a few select people that I know what I'm going to do next if they want to be spoiled. Um, and I do have a, uh, and we talked about this, but I don't want to mention it on here either. I have a, uh, another topic for an S2K show. Hopefully I get an old friend of mine, old familiar face, uh, face, old familiar voice. Oh, uh, I know who it is. To uh, do uh, no. an S2K show with us hopefully sometime soon. And Eight yeah, so uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so and I have other great ideas lined up for the Ron Moore channel as well. Um, so I will not be leaving YouTube. However, uh, my videos will be seen first on Daily Motion, and then a week later I will have it queued to where you know I just schedule the video to be uploaded exactly a week later on YouTube, so I won't forget. And but as far as like podcast uh, and vlogs and update videos, you know, that's just gonna still stay on, you know, on YouTube strictly only, strictly Sega, no, uh, and or strictly SC2K. That's our new partner channel, sister channel. No, uh, my baby's sister channel. Okay, fail. Um, oh, and I, I, I want to throw in, um, hey. Uh, to the like 12 people to listen to this um, be sure to uh, check in on Ronnie's Kickstarter it's um, Ronnie wants to make some money dot com <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah please comment rate subscribe and donate there will be prizes there will yeah. be um, if, if you donate if you donate $15 you'll get a copy of the uh, the mixtape <laughs> Yeah. There was only three sold in history. Mm. Yep. This is, you know, this is a big deal. Yeah, uh, and you guys will also, uh, don't if you donate $100, you'll get um, my subscription. Yes. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> if you donate $100, you'll get laughed at. <laughs> if someone donates $100 just to get a subscription, then that person truly is a subscriber whore. Well, I, I I would like to think if someone donated a hundred dollars, then they would just get the hundred dollars back and be like, yeah. <laughs> no. I I'll be like, you know what? If you want to donate a hundred dollars to me to get my subscription, that's fine. And I also, I'll I'll even give you a shout out and everything if you <laughs> donate a hundred dollars to me. But then I I feel guilty. That was, though. I don't know if I can really keep it. That was fifteen dollars, Ronnie. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sorry, fifteen dollars. Um. <clears throat> Well, we that's right. Know, we fifteen dollars, or I'm getting off YouTube and going to Daily Motion, and no, <laughs> fifteen dollars or GTFO. No, yeah. I'm just kidding. Well, we we couldn't remember the price amount because uh, Rich took the videos off of YouTube. So, 
Yeah, and my website would not be free anymore. You must pay five dollars. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Actually, yeah, if you people, if you sign up for Ronnie's site, he will give you five dollars. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So uh, five dollars yeah, in five dollars in Ronnie bucks. <laughs> yeah, ECW bucks. Yep, which uh, has um, no cash value. Yeah, yeah. Shameless plug. Check out theronmore dot com. There you go. Um, all right, and yeah. So I guess for our personal uh, personal years. I guess for our personal lives, uh, as far as 2013, I kind of mentioned this already, so I'll just make it quick. Um, yeah, it, I mean, I got my own ap apartment again. That's that's real awesome. Um, and I really uh, enjoy living by myself, but the rent here has been pretty high. And kind of been having hard times financially, but things are starting to pick up. And I'm starting my web design business, and hopefully that really flourishes in 2014. And... Uh, <clears throat> But I'm glad I was able to move out and have my own place again. Um, and so, yeah, that, that's that's pretty epic. Um, there might something might happen to where my rent might be lowered, so that would really be awesome. Um, and the rest of the year, as far as personal stuff, uh, some of it went pretty good. Um, and uh, 2013, I would have to say, was definitely better uh, in several ways than 2012. It could have been worse uh, the way it was turning out yeah. to be. Uh, but I got a raise this year, and uh, got my own place this year, and oh, and recent uh, I got my own website this year. That's awesome. Um, which I will upgrade next year to a more uh, a bigger and better site, and it'll be have more content on there. That's in the months to come. Um, and I also got a free laptop this year. I didn't tell you that yet, J Man. Um, not a free laptop. That's because it's dirty and old and no telling how much long it's going to last. <laughs> Someone found it at their house. A guy I work with said, hey, you know, my girlfriend's ex-boyfriend left it with her years ago and he never came back for it. Um, I don't even know if it works. You want it? I said, yeah. <laughs> so worst case scenario, I'd probably have Swindoll fix it for me or sell it for parts or something. <laughs> Actually, it's a Dell laptop about four, three or four years old and Right now, it's working decent. It has a lot more gig of hard disk space than my PC, and because uh, my PC only has like thirty-seven something gigabytes of hard drive space, your, while this laptop your, has your computer is thirty-seven years old, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and this laptop has seventy-six point something gigabytes, but only nine gigabytes of free space. And I delete a lot of junk, so I don't know what else I got to delete. Mm. Make more free, but. I got a laptop, and I need to clean it up because it's filthy, and there's no telling. I don't want to think about what someone was doing on it. I've been typing on it the whole time. But, yeah, it's free, so I can't complain. Um, but I do plan on getting a new computer this year. Um, when I get income tax return, uh, if I get all the parts, uh, I might buy a good, cheap, reliable computer, or Swindoll might build one for me if I can buy all the parts. So, we'll see what happens with that because I got to get a new computer even though Swindoll said this one might have five more years left on it but uh, I wouldn't push it so I need right. to get a new dadgum computer um, so hopefully 2014 be even better year I learned a lot of things last year some things woke me up and like uh, on financial level and personal level and yeah 2014 uh, having some good momentum going in and uh, so hopefully 2014 will be the year of ECW. What do you say, J-Man? I say um, 2014 will be the year of ECW. Uh, now I want to talk about my year of 2013. It started off actually really horrible. I lived in a motel room. Uh, this was around the time of Wolverine and another game that we uh, had talked about earlier. And yeah... Uh, I had a really shitty microphone that just wasn't working at the time, so I tried to use my uh, microphone off the uh, laptop. It was even worse. <laughs> I felt awful, <laughs> and it was just completely awful. I actually didn't do any SD2K stuff for a little while after that until I was sure that I had like a better microphone, which 
wasn't better quality, but at least I could be heard. Um, between that time, my car died. <laughs> and so then I had to move out of the, uh, the, the shitty motel room that I was living in and had to move back in with uh, my girlfriend, Purple, at her mom's house. <laughs> um, but then, you know, I picked myself back up again. I got a pretty nice car now, 2009 Pontiac G6. Uh, 2009. Yep, 2009. Good year. Hell yep. yeah, it was a good year. ECW year. Oh, you. Um, a couple months after that, I got hired on by the job that I had been working at three months before that. So got a got a pretty big bump up there. And uh, about a month after that. Me and me and Purple got a well. We got an apartment. <laughs> it, it, I mean, it looks nice. We got shitty neighbors upstairs. Uh, I'm not going to go too much into that. Um, it we, is better. We, we feuded with them a few times, to say the least. Um, we have no we have no hot water in the kitchen, so like we have a dishwasher, but it just doesn't do the job because we don't get any hot water in the kitchen. So. Anyways, to keep things, I guess, short, yeah, our, uh, our lease is going to be up in May of 2014, so that will be ECW, uh, when we can just yeah. go ahead and, like, rent a house. Um, but continuing on with 2013, uh, um, a really good job. Uh, she works at, well, where is it? It's drilling info. Just, yeah. It's it's pretty good. Okay, there's the purple purple, three six four nine five. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we're we're doing pretty good. Uh, what else has happened this year? Um. Uh, well, the first thing I want to say personally is rest in peace, Oreo, because I miss her a lot, oh, and man. I only got to meet her once in person, but I fell in love with her the first time I saw her. Um, like j -Man said, you know, we had some good times and we had some bad times. Um, this apartment isn't the best, but it's much better than living in a single room at my mother's house. Yes. Um, and like he said also, you know, I have a good job now. Um, there's a very good chance that I'll be hired on and moved to the day shift, um, yes. within the next couple of months. Um, and yeah, we're definitely looking forward to moving into a house instead of an apartment. And not working separate shifts. Another awesome thing that happened this year is that we got a Christmas tree together and yes. we decorated it together. And it's still up. It's probably still going to be up for a little while because we're not going to feel like taking it down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's. I think that's it. It was a pretty good yeah. year, all things considered. It was a pretty good year. Yeah, yeah, I forgot to I forgot to mention Oreo. Uh, yeah, that really did suck when she died. But she was an old rat, and it was her time to go. Yeah. Um, yeah, and, like you were saying, you you heard they lasted like two years. Yeah, rats don't tend to live very long. Yeah, and I did, I did more. I did do more research. Um, I, I said uh, rats actually live maybe a year and a half, if you're lucky, two years. So I think Oreo was right at a year and a half. Yeah. Uh, so she was like Yoda and stuff. For rat. I think she was born. Yeah, I think she was born like. Well, I think Ryan told me January 2012. Okay. And so okay. she lived to uh, November 2013. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's still pretty good. I mean, considering. Yeah. That was a tough rat. That rat's been through a lot. Like Coco would beat her up a lot, and like. She would just like climb on stuff and fall. You think she got hurt real bad, but no, she just get right back up and run again. She she took a lot of damage, and so, I mean, but you know, fortunately, rats get that age. They start yeah. to have a disease where it keeps them from breathing, and that's what you know got her. Yeah. And yeah, but she, I guess you know, it's a time to go, and it was fun, you know, keeping her throughout the house, or you know, when I lived in the house with, with other guys, and then Ryan let me uh, keep her because he can't have. Um, pets where he lives at so um 
yeah, and then it was a good three months that I had her, and uh, yeah, it's pretty sad when she died. That really hit me hard, and uh, but you know, I'm glad that uh, you know, she, it was hard to see what, what was hurting me was seeing her suffer that last two last day or two. But and then so I was yeah. like, I was part of me was happy that she finally stopped breathing because she was suffering, and then you know, all right, well, at least she's not suffering anymore, and yeah, but and I want to thank again, thank uh. Aurelia, or her real name is Sarah, who drew the picture of Oreo. It's pretty epic. Yeah. A lot of people really gave it's, a lot of compliments. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. And so, yeah, oh yeah, Oreo made her uh, YouTube debut this year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, and so, yeah, uh, I guess that's it for uh, 2013 um, as far as our YouTube channels and well, you didn't do nothing on your channel, J Man. Once but. again, <laughs> hey, um, I replied to a couple comments. Surprise. Yeah, I've seen that, but it won't let me reply to you. That's weird. Well, that's a <laughs> Google Google Plus, Google Plus. Yeah, I know, and or Google Minus. I don't know why they're forcing us to have it, but it should be Google Minus because I yeah. I don't want that. You know, I mean, I don't really care for it. So well, I don't know. But, I'm, I'm, I'm on Android now, so I ain't, I ain't complaining. <laughs> yeah, but um, hopefully, and yeah, I would say hopefully, 2014 would not be worse as far as Google is concerned. But we'll have to see. I mean, eh, I really feel bad for people like uh, Classic Game Room who had to leave because the constant ID claims is really affecting his finances and because he got so much revenue. Well, he's we, one of the know, original partners. Well, you know, we we talked about this before. If you're trying to if you're trying to make a li living off of YouTube or the internet, period, don't. Right, just don't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, and, and that's true. I mentioned that in my video about what you said. It's best to get a steady job because even if you're you're popular enough to make a living for years and years off your revenue, BS like this might no. happen. Yep. I mean, I mean even uh uh James Roth has a job. Yeah. Yeah, he does. And I mean, it's pretty cool to make, you know, guess like uh, some side revenue. We got I guess like a hundred dollars a year from Blip, I think. Uh or seventy five to a hundred dollars a year, I think. I think he said you have to have at least three blip payments in order to not get deleted. Yeah. And so we got Star Soldier to get those views, I guess. So that's why they're still around. Um, but they also do a better job in pushing views right. and plugging. They have more followers than me, so that's definitely why I, why I didn't make it on Bip. Right. And I mean, uh, um, real quick, uh, if you if you look at some of the uh, definitely in the the video gaming, uh, well, it's not the corner anymore because some of the bigger YouTubers have tapped into the video game thing. It's not 2009 anymore. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. But um. But really, like the hardcore like gaming channels, um, some of the like bigger guys like like still live at home. So, like, of course, it's viable for them to, you know, like like of course they're like uh, like like freaking out and uh, making videos about like ad block and, and, and stuff like that. Like I'm not talking about all hardcore gamers, but I'm talking about some and you know who you are. You're not listening to this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But um Yeah, you know. If you you know, if you if you're living with someone else, okay, do your thing. That's fine. Whatever. I'm not I'm not trying to bag on anybody. Um but you should, uh, if you're, you know, if, if you're really trying to make a, a career out of what you're trying to do, and you'll be on YouTube, you better search higher. Yeah. Better, uh, I don't know, you better double up your Twitter. That doesn't make sense, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't yeah. understand Twitter, so it makes sense to me. You better face reality with Facebook. Yep. You better, uh, yeah. You better put some face into your twit, and and then and then twat up your book. I don't know.
Oh, no. You better go do some fucking porno. There we go. <laughs> I think you guys better stop listening because this is where it probably should end. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, uh, well, nerds like, or yeah, nerds like chicks, and chicks like nerds these days. So there we go. There's a porno movie. Do some, <laughs> do some porno, get paid, and there you go. You can move out of your parents' house. <laughs> Revenge of the Nerds Five coming soon. Not uh. yeah. Oh, Revenge of the Nerds Five. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and. That is it for the SC2K Show 2013 year in review. And I hope 2014 will be definitely ECW. I am excited about some of the stuff I'm going to be doing. Uh, especially when it takes a long time to finish a certain LP. I'm like, oh, I want to get this over with because I want to do my next project. So I'm glad that Ninja Turtles 3 is going to be over with here pretty soon. So with that said... I, well, real quick, J-Man, you said, you told us earlier this year, or told me rather, you were thinking about maybe making a comeback. Any update on that? Oh, um, well, I'm going to make a comeback right now. I apologize. <laughs> and that's it. Um, I'm going back into hibernation. Okay. All right, so... That is it. We will see J-Man next year on the 2014 year review. No, uh. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And uh, so, yep, that is it. We are out of here. Happy New Year, everybody listening. And uh, ECW, I'm Ron Moore. I'm J-Man. And this is Purple. God bless. Take care. Have a good one. Later.